Hey guys, welcome to Imbizo. We've got yet another one. And for the month of August, we are turning things around for the women out there. So we've got a segment called Help a Sister Out, and we'll be chatting to some amazing women that have made great strides to making their lives better. So please stay tuned, um, check out our pages, and see what we have in store for you. Meet Tuli Soka, owner and founder of The Cake Hub. She takes us through the lessons she's learned, how she started her business, and gives us some really great advice for everyone that wants to start their own hustle. Stay tuned and enjoy. Hi, my name is Tuli Soka. I'm from a small town called Palabora in Limpopo. I'm currently based in Cape Town. I'm the founder and owner of the Cake Hub. The Cake Hub is a cake business. We make custom cakes for any occasion. Um, you can name it. It can be a birthday, um, baby shower, wedding, like basically just any occasion. I started my business as a hobby, basically. Um, yeah, like, okay, growing up, I've always been a child who is into artistry. Um, I liked drawing. Um, I liked creating stuff, you know, just making things with my hands. And I used to love this show called um, Cake Boss. So I would watch Cake Boss like every day. So I think that's where my interest and love for baking came from. And a few years later, I was like, oh, okay, like, I really like this. Um, I would like to try it out. And I started looking for cake decorating classes. And I, to be honest, they were just too expensive for me. And then that's how I opted into um, self-learning and then I said make doing research on cake decorating I baked for friends and family and yeah I just felt I was good at it and then like my cakes started attracting people um, people were willing to actually pay for my work and I was like oh okay um, let's do this then and yeah, that's how the cake hub was born. Oof, what kept me going? Um, I love making eggs. Like, I get joy out of making eggs. I could I could be working on a cake for like the whole day, and <laughs> like I wouldn't get tired of it, out of it. So. Yeah, I, like I just get fulfilled. And what's more important is the smile on people's faces when they get their cake. They're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to cut this. And they'll be so happy. So the smile that I put on people's faces through my work is just priceless for me. So yeah, like I get fulfilled from that. I love that. I love baking. That's what kept me going. Lessons learned. Um, there's always going to be downfalls. There's always going to be failure. Um, so instead, learn from those downfalls and do better next time. Secondly, um, it's important to always leave room for disappointments um not everything is always going to turn out the way we anticipate so when you when you prepare yourself for those things when you prepare yourself for failures and leave a room for disappointments um when it actually happens um like it's not gonna hit as hard as it would have if you had not prepared yourself mentally 
for those disappointments. So I think it's very important like to do that. And lastly, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, you know, like people are afraid to start things because they're afraid they're going to fail, but it's really not that bad. Um, mistakes actually make us do better. Like they, they make us who we are at the end of the day. Honestly, I don't have a favorite design. Um, every client is different. Um, clients want different things because, yeah, they're just different. And what I love about that is that I get to work on something new every time. So obviously I'm going to learn or teach myself a new technique or something new. So, yeah, like I fall in love with every single cake that I make because they are different. And, yeah, I, I don't have, like, a favorite design. I'm on social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as the Cake Hub Czar. Um, I also recently started a, a YouTube channel um, where it's focusing or I'm um, showcasing how I do my cakes. Um, so it will be beneficial for people that wants to start business in cake decorating or who just wants to learn cake decorating in general. So it's basically for cake decorating beginners. superpower <laughs> okay um, I would say jack of all trades jack of all trades because I can do I believe I can do anything like if I see something and I like it and I'm like oh my gosh I want it I'm going to do it and I will perfect it Everything that I touch, everything that I do with my hands, um, it just becomes amazing. Um, it can be anything. It can be food. It can be, you know, creating something new or doing whatever that I'm using my hands or I'm just that DIY girl. So, yeah, check of all trades. I live breathe speak creativity for women that want to start out a uh, business or want to start out anything in life in general there is never a perfect time to start like you can start now with like as little as you have so yeah Again, there's black people who are still discovering themselves, who are still finding or learning what they like or what they're passionate about. So when you discover that thing that you love, that thing that you're actually passionate about, um, it's important to stick to it. Like It's important to grab it and make the best out of it. So trust me, when you finally figure it out, you are going to excel most definitely you're going to excel because it's something that you love it's something that you're passionate about and it will just going to work out for you and then also when you believe in a craft or your craft it's important to put work into it like work on it um, give it your all, give it your best. You are going to rip off the benefits of your hard work. Trust me. You know, it can be anything. It, it's definitely going to pay off at the end. And lastly, um, give people quality work. Um, give people quality and they will never leave your side. 
so that's how simple clients are simple clients are very simple give them quality and you'll have them forever mm -hmm.